Hi, this Quick Bits video will show you two ways to set up your Raspberry Pi Zero W from scratch without a keyboard or screen using Wi-Fi or USB connectivity. This is often called a headless setup. And the crosstalk on the bus lane looks pretty bad mm, this morning, yum. so you may have to take an alternate route. Next up on Micmac FM is... The first thing you need is the Raspbian Pi image from the Raspberry Pi Foundation website. Download the latest image, whatever it happens to be, and burn this to an SD card using your favourite utility. Make sure your SD card is at least 2 gigs in size, although any size will do. If you're using Etcher like I do, and you have set the option Auto Unmount on Success, then you'll have to reinsert the SD card for the next steps. Next you need to make a change to the command line text file. You can use any editor for this, and add this to the end of the line. Make sure it's at the end and not on a new line. Then save this file. If you see this error on a Mac, just click OK. Next you'll need to modify the config.txt file, and add this line to it. It can be anywhere in the file. Then save this. If you don't want to access your Pi over Wi-Fi, then you can skip this step. Before you exit from the text editor, create a new file. If you're using a Mac, make sure you set the Make Plain Text option. Then add these entries with your Wi-Fi SSID here and the password here. There's one important part to this file. Make sure this part is all on one line and has no spaces separating the text. Otherwise your Pi won't be able to connect to your Wi-Fi access point. Then save this file. If you're using a Mac, then make sure you uncheck this text box. Then save it with this name. Next you want to create another text file that's empty. Save this, making sure you uncheck this box for Macs, and save it as this file name. So you will have created these two additional files and modified these two. Next you can eject the SD card and chuck it into your Pi Zero W. Then connect one end of a USB cable into this port. Either ports can actually power the Pi Zero, but only this one has direct access to the USB port on the Pi's CPU. Then plug the other end of your USB cable into your PC. If all you want to do is access your Pi via Wi-Fi, then your job is done, as it'll boot up, connect to your access point, and you'll be able to log into it from there. You may have to check your access point log files to see what IP address it has been given. If you want to be able to connect to your Pi over USB, then your Pi will have already obtained an IP address from your PC using Ethernet over USB. Most modern PCs support RNDIS devices and will assign an IP address to it using ZeroConf. At this point, you can ping your Pi Zero from a shell and also SSH into it. And there you have it, two simple ways to connect your Pi without a screen and keyboard. Thanks for watching and see you next time. And that's it for another episode. Don't forget to check out my website for further details. And thanks for watching.